The battle over American campuses is continuing. Overnight, the police were sent in to UC Irvine to take back buildings being occupied by anti-Israel mobs. Across the country, however, student encampment at Cornell University is dispersing in a rare occurrence of campus anti-Israel demonstration where students ended the encampment on their own. Unlike other institutions where agreements with protesters or police intervention were needed, such is not the case at Harvard University where the encampment continues. ILTV's Rachel Safti reported from the scene. I'm here today at Harvard University where the pro-Palestinian encampments are still ongoing. Entrances of the universities have been closed off for the public and for tourists. Only people that have the university ID, meaning students and faculty, uh, can actually go in. And as we see inside, we still see uh, camps. We see tents of, of students and people who are protesting. And in the protests, we still do see some anti-Semitic rhetoric. In a, in a country that my grandparents fled to after the war, uh, we're now seeing signs of our unwelcomeness. We're seeing signs calling for our genocide, our murder in the streets of Boston, in the streets of New York, in the streets of LA, and around our country. And we always claim to be better than that in America. And we've just scratched the surface and we see that we're not. This is my flag for my country, for my people. And they're not gonna take that away from us, whether it's Israel, or in the United States or around the world, we must stand up for our people. And this is the flag we all have to parade, parade around our country and our campuses with. There's an attempt to delegitimize the state of Israel, but more broadly, Israelis. And I think most Israelis here, as long as they're sort of willing to identify as such, feel unwelcome. Have you experienced anti-Semitism? So I think that's a little complicated because I haven't been attacked and there's no, I don't think there's a, I know of people who have had being physically harassed. I personally have not been physically harassed, but I know of a lot of people who've experienced a form of anti-Zionism, which I think is anti-Semitism. Have you been able to have conversations with those people? So I would say very sadly, very little conversation. Um, coming to Harvard, I imagined and expected a world of fascinating and enlightening conversation, and there's been none of that. I'm standing here in front of one of the gates of Harvard University, and I asked multiple times, I had multiple attempts uh, to talk to some of the students that are wearing kafiyas and are clearly part of the pro-Palestinian encampment to say a few words, uh, and they shut me down and said that they're not ready uh, to talk about it. No comment, they said.